Welcome back. This is still X Monad, Article Linux B. Could have easily been Article Linux D, doesn't really matter. It's just the way how it's delivered to you. We are at more or less the bottom. You see here the minimap. This is minimap, more or less where you are. And we are at looking at X Monad layout keys. And um, let's get rid of that cycle through the available layout algorithms mod mask and then space and you have a focus all these buttons do something well let's go and tackle the first one we go to first to another workspace to open up some screens and maybe this one as well so you see some difference and here we do an update so you see actually what's happening okay when we press super space, things are going to be changed. This is the layout changer. So all these possibilities are available on Xmonad. And we are now back. So this is what this is, um, is what's possible. It's a changer and it's going to be this guy so mod mask super and then spacebar when you do the focus selected desktops we have a mod mask mod one mask so alt tap is going to navigate through the different positions that's alt mod mask different workspaces there is also the super tap which is also known to navigate through different workspaces you can focus to the next tab which is basically the same so super tab focus there so move and focus right what else I oh, yeah, the mod mask control mod and an X left so control alt to the left to the right to the left to the right which works as well also I need a little trick I use it often that's this one left and right reset the layouts on the current workspace workspace to default so mod mask super shift space super shift space is this i think yeah okay so super shift space we can try it out here if we do first something like this and then super space so first you need to change the layout with a super space and let's do something really ridiculous like this it's no borders in between here and then super shift space is going to set everything back to default so that's i'm just reading what says here mode focus to the next window that's something i rarely use so the j and the k and uh, those guys can be used as well to move the focus to the next window the previous window uh, you can try them out move focus to the master as well let's take a few out of them not all of them focused window snap to the focus previous window this is something that might be fun shrink the master area expand the master area so an H and an L control shift H control shift H and a J, no, not a, not a J, an L, an H and an L, okay, an H and an L, you see how many times I use them, but they're there, if you want to change things around, then you can do that by pressing the buttons, the correct buttons, Eric, I do not use it at all, so, but it's here. Uh, focus swap focus shrink uh, okay this has been done push back this is an interesting one this is the one I'm do really do use control shift T so uh, is it control control shift T no I'm wrong shift is this line I'm looking at push push window back into tiling so let's say we have a window we moved it around and it's floating we do that with a super pressed in and then left mouse and we say, oh my God, I want to get it back into tiling. Control Shift T is that a shortcut. And this one is going to make everything default. Again, move it over here. 
and then you do Control Shift T, everything is back tiled. And that's probably this one. Yep, Control Shift T. You see, from from time to time, you read it, and at some point in time, it becomes a finger movement, and you don't know where, what you're pressing, but you're tiling it back, you're pushing it back into tiling. That's when it's becoming finger memory. Control mask, mod mask, left. So control super and to the left, increment the number of windows in the master area. Pfft, never use that. Okay, fine. So we can do some things here with arrows, control super, and we switch it around. But like I said, well, the, there are lots of possibilities, but if we use it, that's something else. That's something that you decide. This is one thing I really do use. If you want to move a client to a specific workspace, you're trying to work here and it's, it's becoming too small. And on number three, there's nothing. Workspace three, there's nothing. So I got, I'm going to say super shift three to this guy. And on three, there is my uh, Thunar now. So I can move this thing around, say no, I'd rather have it on Super Shift 4, and it's going to be on 4 now. So that's something I really do uh, need, because if you're opening up application, 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 Control Shift 